If y'all missed it, America, Shakira Richardson failed to qualify for the world championships, uh, coming short in both the 100 meter dash and the uh, 200 meter dash. And unlike when she showed out at uh, this year's Prefontaine Classic, motherfuckers got something to say about this latest stumble. And see, that's the problem I have. Folks uh, are louder with their criticisms than they are with their praise. That's the problem I have. And I tend to see that in sports media when it comes to uh, loud, outside-of-the-box black people. Uh, another person that comes to mind is LeVar Ball. Okay. When Lamar when excuse me, when LeVar Ball told us that all his boys were gonna play ball and uh that the baby boy was gonna be the best of all of them, and they took that boy out of school and put him over there overseas. Folks said he was a horrible father and it ain't gonna work. And all that's happened since is uh his boy uh Lonzo is becoming a, a solid player in the NBA when he can stay healthy. When he can stay healthy. Well, maybe you can blame Laval for that for genetics, him getting hurt. Uh Jello is it's it's relevant in the culture. He's he's had an opportunity to play, hasn't panned out, but he, he knew he wasn't the, the one. Uh, but he damn so told us about that young boy. He told us about that boy LaMelo. And now that a lot of that shit's coming to fruition, folks ain't as loud. And the praise is say, damn, you a good pop, man. And it's the same thing with this young woman. When she wins, motherfuckers kind of hush. But it's like, I guess it, it gets more clicks when she loses. Oh, uh, and see that that's I, I think that's what feeds her energy when it comes to the media. If I can see that, she sees that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I went back out, I, I checked out uh a show that I never watched, but I was just kind of perusing things leading up to me doing this segment. And this show on S1, Speak for Yourself. Uh, with Marcellus Wiley and I guess that guy, other guys named Manuel Honcho or something like that. I don't know. I don't watch that shit. But I saw they did a segment on her failing. But I tried to see, oh, well, did they do a segment on her, you know what I'm saying, showing her ass at the Prefontaine earlier this year? I ain't see that. Maybe it exists might be wrong but i know they were going at her ass and i see a lot of channels uh have come for in that instance and maybe it's because she's brash and got the hair and got the nails and and uh you know goes off on the media and media personalities don't like when you go off on them they're human beings too i get it uh but you can't you, just like they can argue she can't she should not pick and choose when she wants to do media i i don't think that media should pick and choose when they want to cover her like because then it's, it's like you're trying to feed the narrative trying to create a narrative rather than just covering the damn sport you know what i'm saying and i love track and field coaching Tracking, uh, coaching high school track gave me such an appreciation uh, for that sport. It takes a hell of a lot of training, hell of a lot of training for less fanfare than you get from uh, basketball, football, shit like that. And your margin of error is that shit tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, that 100, you got 10 seconds. All that work for 10, 
10 seconds worth of running. Now, if your ass got them blocks right, your drive phase ain't right, and if something go off, you slip, that shit over. I've seen it with one of my youngest. We had a big race, he slipped out of them blocks, and all that work we had done was worthless. 200, shit, we got 20 seconds. All that work for 20 seconds worth of running. It's real. But I, I I don't see people in their critiques getting into all that. Uh, somebody going to give me, what's your, what's your critique? What is she doing wrong? What is she doing wrong? You know, does she need to work on a block game? Does she need to work on a drive phase? Is it her last 20, 25 meters? What is it? I don't say all that. I just see the the fuck shit, bro. And that, that's unfortunate. And on that show that I'm talking about, it's two brothers. Two brothers on there. Now, I'm not saying because it's two brothers, they got to protect the sister, but just be balanced. If you're going to talk about it, talk about it when she got damn do well as well. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm covering both. I covered her when she showed out the pre Fontaine. And, you know, and I got to cover this now. And I don't know. I don't know what the inconsistency is about. I don't know. I don't know if it's her training or if it's a mental. We know that she's been through a lot of shit and uh, seems like dealing with the media spotlight. She don't really fuck with that. Even though, which is hard to believe, even though she got the hair and the nails. But hey, it's like Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman had the hair and the nails. But he would tell you, uh, he had a dope quote in the last day. It was like, he played a game for free. It's the dealing with the media and dealing with all the other shit they get paid for. I feel that. I I get that. So I don't know. I don't know, but I I, I hope Shawty finds some consistency in her performances and is able to get things back on track. And uh, proof was wrong, man. I, I want her before her career is up to goddamn go to the Olympics and get a medal. That's what I hope. You know what I'm saying? So whatever the hell the problem is, whatever it is, whether it's training, whether it's just something uh, in terms of her race strategy, or if it's just the mental side of the game, I hope she gets it right. Uh, Because that's the only way you're going to shut these motherfuckers up. That's it. Put it on something. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.